Look, you know, China and its officials across the country, they are scrambling to find ways to mitigate the impact of this prolonged and intense heat wave. You have the situation in Chongqing City, where authorities there have announced that factory production will be suspended for a week. Meanwhile, in Chengdu, um, the metro system is running on a power-saving mode. There are social media images going viral, showing people taking the metro in the dark. And in the province of Hubei, authorities there have resorted to the practice of cloud seeding, which involves shooting these pellets of, of silver iodide into the clouds in a desperate attempt to make rain, a process that China has embraced and used since the 1940s and, of course, during the 2008 Olympic Games. Look, for over two months now, China has been battling this extreme heat wave. It has issued a red alert notice to over 138 cities and counties across the country. That is the highest level alert. It also indicates expected temperatures of 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And on Wednesday, Chinese authorities said that this current heat wave is the strongest on record since 1961. I want to bring up a statement for you. Um, this came out on Wednesday uh, from China's National Climate Center, in which they said this heat wave this time is prolonged, it's wide in scope, it's strong in extremity. Taking all signs together, the heat wave in China will continue and its intensity will increase. And China has also warned that it is vulnerable. In fact, its temperatures in China are rising faster than the global rate. This is according to China's own authorities. I'm going to bring up this statement for you, which came out earlier this month. This from Yuan Jiaxuang, who's the vice director of China's National Climate Center, who says, in the future, the increase in regional average temperatures in China will be significantly higher than the world. So look, China is vulnerable. China right now is feeling the effects of climate change. John, a reminder, China quite recently, just a couple weeks ago, made that decision to cut climate talks with the United States in protest for that controversial visit to Taiwan by the U.S. House Speaker. Back to you, John.